back to the channel, my friends. Welcome back to another episode here at Mike's Mods and Customs. If you're a returning visitor here, welcome back. Thanks for hitting that play button and joining me here. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by to see what we have to offer. What we're working on today is a September 2021 Four Horsemen build. Four Horsemen is a community here on YouTube that uh, has an open invitation for anybody to join them on their build. And this is the the casting that we're working with. It's a 1935 Ford pickup truck from Matchbox. And our theme this month is old time delivery. And uh, I'm really totally unsure what to do with this thing. I've uh, gone ahead already and drilled this thing apart and uh, tapped it. So let's just uh, rip it apart here and I'll show you what pieces we got to work with. So, if you'll notice on these screws, very minute difference. I had to shorten the back one. If you can see there, that one's a little bit shorter than that one. And as I take it apart, I'll show you why. Look at how small that post is there versus the front. The back post was really short. I had to shorten it so I didn't drill all the way through. So, we have our 35 Ford casting clean brand new window plastic gray interior with some engine detail interior not sure if i'm going to keep that box on the back or not i have a couple different ideas there might be enough room in there for what i want to do i do know for sure that this guy is uh going in the stripper to get cleaned of the chrome uh, i don't want that to be chrome there's some decent detail on the back there on the bottom so that's what we have to work with. I'm gonna get these wheels off of this, get this into the uh, into the cleaner, get that chrome stripped off of there, and then we'll see what we're gonna do. I don't think this is gonna go into the stripper and get stripped down. I think I'm going to do an old school weathering kind of thing on this paint scheme. So we'll see what comes up. Hang in there with me, sit back, relax, and we'll see what we do once we get this stuff out of the cleaner. So a quick update, we got uh, wheel swap done basically just swapped out the uh the rears i wanted to go with a little bit more of a steely look front and back um i did have to change the axle so this is the axle that was in this truck with different wheels so i had to uh cut the axle swap the wheels over from axle to axle and we got the base stripped so we now have a basic black base so next step is going to be on to the interior so i'm going to get this apart again and uh get that interior painted black then detail it up and go from there. So, yet again, sit back, relax. Enjoy what we got to come. All right, so here we are back with the uh, minor interior detail. I just did some um, <clears throat> some dry brushing, realistically, just in the um, in the in interior over the engine. Probably paid more attention to the headlights. I hit the bezels of the headlights with some silver, and then I. Just did a dab of white for the headlight itself. I weathered up the uh, the bed of the interior just enough to kind of. It's not an exact match of the two of the the wood and the bed there, but close enough. Um, like I said, we're just going with a beat up weathered theme. My uh, storyline behind this is going to be this uh, taking place in the late thirties. And right around the time frame of when the moonshine went from illegal to legal drinking, kind of like what they've done around here with marijuana, where the government said, hey, we can make money. Let's tax it. Same thing probably happened back here in the 30s, I'm assuming. I don't really know. But anyways, what my theme here is build it, of the build is that little Johnny has been hounding Grandpa, who had... An old farm truck hanging around, being this 35 Ford pickup. And he wanted to convert it into a beer delivery truck. So, to give you an idea of where I'm going with this, Little Johnny finally convinced Grandpa to let him take it and use a pickup truck to now deliver beer to homes and businesses and make some money. So, we're going to take this giant beer mug. And put it into the back of the truck and it's going to be little johnny's delivery and who knows this might have been the start of anheuser bush 
I think it started way before 1930s. But anyways, for the fun of it, that's my storyline. Grandpa finally let little Johnny take the pickup truck and make himself a delivery vehicle instead of just doing nothing but working on the farm all the time. So then if you want to take that storyline a little bit further, okay, all the uh, the dads and the husbands in the families back then in the 30s are working their butts off and moms didn't really have a job per se because they stayed home, took care of the house, right? Took care of the kids, cleaned, cooked, all that stuff. That's what happened back then in the 30s. So little Johnny had an idea. Well, when dad gets out of work, he goes to the local saloon and he has himself a drink. Well, why not me be the delivery guy and bring mama some beer at home? So that was his business idea. Did it work out? Did it pan out? I don't know. But that's how it started. With a rusted old farm truck and a big old jug of beer. Of course, he was probably delivering cases or single bears, whatever. But my simulation of a big beer mug in the back of the pickup truck, that's going to be my delivery theme. So hang on there with me. Sit back, relax. I'm going to get this thing finally uh, assembled and get the uh, any minor, other minor details done and taken care of. And then I'll show you the reveal coming up. All right, guys, and here we have it. There is my 1935 Ford pickup delivery vehicle. So he's got his loaded up with the beer. He's ready to take it on off and get a delivery. Um, that's about it. I really wasn't... Uh, feeling too much with this build um really couldn't come up with a really good theme of what i really wanted to do this was honestly kind of a last minute throw together thing so it's definitely different for me being rusty and grimy um and i thought the uh the beer mug in the back was a pretty good fit the uh thumbnail picture will show the uh motivation behind the build as far as like some pictures that i had found that i wanted to do so anyways there's that and uh what's to come up on the channel we're going to be working with uh a three blind mice build painted pink for the month of october coming up um so it's going to be breast cancer awareness build and uh this one's already going to have a, a home sent off to a friend of mine who's unfortunately his wife has had a, a pretty bad case of the uh the breast cancer situation so this is going to be her car she said she always wanted to have a mercedes convertible so that's coming up and then uh the next month for um october's october's uh, four horsemen build is going to be this guy right here so this uh mclaren speed tail is our casting and the build theme is golf racing livery so I've actually been experimenting with a couple of different things with the golf racing color. And uh, I have decals and stuff already. So we'll see what this one brings us once we get it apart. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me here for another episode of Mike's Mods and Customs. And uh, until the next one, everybody stay safe, stay healthy. And don't forget to always pay it forward. And we'll see you on the next video.